Now, performance-wise, I'll go ahead and tell you the specs, even though they barely matter. Has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G chipset, octa-core CPU, Adreno 618 GPU, and there's only one model of the Google Pixel 4a, and it has 6 gigabytes of RAM. Now, what I can tell you about this specific phone is that you already know for $350, you're not expecting to get a crazy, you know, Galaxy Note 20, iPhone 11 Pro Max, you know, type of experience. You're going to get, you know, basic, good enough speed in my opinion i think that's the best way to put it when i was comparing it to a ton of other phones i saw that you know i'll be honest the pixel 4a was really surprising i think it lost sometimes but it also won sometimes too compared to a lot of other phones and i'll throw some speed comparisons that i did of it and i think for the most part i was expecting that to happen and you know i'm not expecting if i was comparing if this phone was like a thousand dollar phone i would have been all over this phone and be like why did google make that's not the case this is a 350 fifty dollar phone it doesn't have the latest snapdragon you know 855 or 865 plus whatever it is it's a very basic phone and it has the capability of such you know what i mean google like i said before i think they spent a majority of their money on the front panel and really perfecting the software experience on this thing the performance is not bad and i'm thinking i'm kind of sounding like it might be a little bad it's not bad at all for the 350 dollars it'll definitely get the job done i'm like running out of breath trying to keep up with my thoughts but i think for the most part like if you're getting this phone you know what to expect and i think that's one of the best things to say about this thing it's like you know what you're getting when you get a phone like this it's 350 dollars you're not expecting to get you know an iphone 12 pro you know type of experience you're getting a basic budget phone type of experience but you'll be blown away by it a little bit because the software is so smooth and there's not a lot of bloatware on it i've had phones that had like the latest chipset with like the craziest software on it and it totally ruined my experience like i had the some xiaomi phone back in the day i don't remember what it was maybe it was like the huawei p20 i don't remember I just reviewed it last year and it was a good capable phone but it just had the weirdest ui and i never got around to it i never liked it maybe some people like it maybe some people don't but with this one you're not having that bloatware on it which is really cool so for sure performance i think is good enough for the most part and i don't think you're going to get this phone to complain about the performance now hitting on the camera